Hello and welcome to today's Faith To Go. It is Holy Week. We kicked it off yesterday with an extraordinary Palm Sunday uh, with so much joy in our children um, and letting go of being cool and being in control and embracing laughter and singing and dancing. What a way to kick off the holiest week of the whole year. So all of Lent has been building up to this week. Uh, and we have two ways we're gonna celebrate uh, this week. One is on Thursday, and that's our Tenebrae service. It's Monday, Thursday. Uh, it's the day that we often uh, celebrate the Last Supper and as disciples. That's obviously very central to our theology and who we are. Um, and at our service, uh, we do uh, readings and extinguishing uh, of candles. And similar for me to Ash Wednesday, I love the services and the rituals around Holy Week. Um, part of it is because it just changes the whole um, feeling of Easter for me. That if I am willing to go into the darkness, which is what we will literally do on, on the Tenebrae service as we extinguish candles, as we remind ourselves that we have to get into the darkness. Uh, as much as Caitlin kind of talked about last week, like. The first step in being free from the things that we struggle with, that we burn with, is acknowledging them. And so, for me, we have to tell the whole story of Jesus. We can't skip from the parade and go straight to the garden. Uh, we miss so much uh, in the middle. Uh, we miss both what Jesus does, but how people react to him, how people respond to his uh, way of being a savior, uh, which is not the way that they expected. He gets betrayed, he gets denied, um, he gets uh, made fun of and, and rebuked in many, many levels. Um, and so we are invited into the darkness of this story as well. Um, and part of that is because it reminds us that our Savior didn't stay separate from us. As we learn from the very beginning of Luke's Gospel, this is God with us. God is with us exactly as we are, not as our cleaned up, uh, scrubbed up, smiley, everything is fine faces. God came to be with us exactly the way that we are. And one of the ways that we are is like this week. We are flawed, we are scared, we are unsure, we are violent. Uh, the systems of power do their best to keep their power, even using violence. Uh, as an example and as a way of keeping control. This is also who we are. And Jesus says, they're mine. I claim them just the way that they are. So this week we continue to claim Jesus just the way that he is. As one who will pray in the garden, as one who will break bread with those that he loves most with those that have followed him from the beginning, even when they also fail this week, to stay awake, to claim him in all the ways he had hoped they would. It will end on a cross. It will end in death. But we will follow it all the way through. Because after the darkness, when you spent time in the dark, that first glimmer of light at sunrise is all the brighter. It is by being and willingness, our willingness to stay in the darkness that we can fully stand in the light of Easter on Sunday morning. So today my, I invite you to think about how you will spend this week. There are lots of ways. Obviously, I encourage you and invite you to uh, attend and participate in our uh, Tenebrae service on Thursday night at 6.30 here at the church. But there are lots of other ways. Um, some people uh, designate special time on Good Friday to pray. Other people read through the stories of uh, Holy Week in their scriptures. You can stick with Luke's version, which we've been doing all of Lent, but you could also look at some of the other gospel interpretations of it. Um, the, we've had artwork throughout all of the season um, in our bulletins and as a part of our Lent to go. But uh, you could look up 
artwork of the crucifixion. I know that our Wednesday night Bible study has been doing witnesses at the cross and they have um, observed and reflected on artwork of the crucifixion all through Lent. You could do a little bit of that this week. Uh, maybe you listen to some songs and hymns that really get you in touch uh, with the scenes and uh, the senses of this week. But I invite you to not be afraid of the darkness of this part of the story. It is essential. It is only through the cross can we get to the garden. Let's go to God in prayer. God, we joined the parade with you yesterday. We waved our palms, we shouted Hosanna. But we know that the parade ends this week. May we eat with you at your table where you invite us and offer us hospitality and blessing. Help us to stay awake and pray with you in the garden. May we not turn our eyes away from your suffering, either at the hands of the state or on the cross. May we also hear your words, Father, they know not what they do, forgive them. All in preparation for the celebration that is coming on Sunday morning. Help us to find the holy in this the holiest week of the year. We ask this in the beautiful name of our Savior Jesus. Amen. As always, my friends, be well, be safe, and may you have a meaningful Holy Week.